Hi there. Welcome to the Intermediate Algebra course. We start with a discussion of expressions versus equations in this very first video. So this is a view from the mountaintop. This is where we start the course and also hopefully end the course. Um, this is essentially all the chapters that we'll be doing in this course. Everything we do in this class is going to either involve us working with expressions or we'll be doing something with equations. So it's very, very important from the very beginning that we understand what tools we're allowed to use with expressions and what tools we're allowed to use with equations. And in order to do that, we first have to be able to recognize them or at least distinguish them from each other. So an expression, the definition is that it's a number by itself or just a variable, or it's a combination of the numbers and variables and operation symbols. So that's the formal technical definition. The simple version is it could be a number, it could be a variable, it could be a number and a variable with uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division thrown in. An equation by contrast is something that is made up of two expressions connected by an equal sign. And the important part is the presence of the equal sign. Here for an expression, we don't see any mention of equal anywhere. All we see are operation symbols, meaning addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, maybe exponents if you guys remember what those are, but we'll see those later on in the course. An equation is just two expressions set equal to each other. So really the takeaway from this discussion should be expressions, no equal signs, equations have an equal sign. Now we'll start our course with a discussion of linear expressions and linear equations. A linear expression is the thing on the left hand side, two times, so that's the multiplication operation, three times x, so that's again the multiplication operation, minus, that's subtraction, a number, and then plus four, so that's addition. So here again, we see no equal signs anywhere. Now what happens if we take that linear expression and we set it equal to five. Well, now it becomes a linear equation. Similarly, we can have quadratic expressions. Quadratic expressions are different from linear expressions, and this will be probably chapter three. But here you'll notice we have three x squared plus four x minus 10. And if we set it equal to 10, we include an equal sign right there that makes it a quadratic equation. Rational expressions will be things that have fractions and x's in the numerator and maybe the denominator as well, but at least you'll have a fraction somewhere. If we set it equal to five, now this becomes a rational equation. So again, expressions are just simple terms, no pluses, uh, I'm sorry, no equal signs, if you throw in an equal sign between two expressions, it becomes an equation. And the last chapter that we'll deal with will be radical expressions. So these will be things that have square roots or cube roots in them. So again, just the minus sign in the middle. So this is a subtraction operation. On the other hand, if we include an equal sign, this becomes a radical equation. The last important bit is the phrasing that we use in class. What you say will be very, very important, and I'll keep going back and forth again and again on these two simple ideas. We simplify expressions, but we solve equations. When we say simplify, simplification just means you're taking a piece of clay and you're molding it or you're massaging it and you're changing the form, but the clay stays the entire time. When you solve an equation, I think of it as opening up a gift. You take the wrapping paper off, then you open the box, then maybe there's some more, you know, crinkle wrapping paper inside. You open that up and then at the center is your gift. That's the solution to the equation. So throughout this course, we will first introduce you to linear expressions and then teach you how to solve linear equations. Then we'll learn about quadratic expressions and teach you how to solve quadratic equations. Then we'll move on to rational expressions, teach you how to solve rational equations. And then finally, at the end of the course, we'll start with radical expressions, 
manipulate them, simplify them, massage them, move, move them from one form to the other. And then finally, once we're comfortable with that, we'll end the course with solving radical equations. In the coming problems, you'll be asked to uh, just identify which ones are which.